Okay, guys, welcome back from the break. I hope you had a nice, relaxing, restful time. Uh, the images that you saw in, right at the beginning of this video were pieces that I made right before the Easter break. Um, here they are, taken off the wall. Um, you can see that some of the leaves that I used have now dried. When I made the pieces originally, they were, uh, they were fresh off of the bushes or trees. Um, and now they've kind of started to curl up a little bit. I think in some cases it looks good. In some cases we'd prefer that that not happen. So we're gonna talk about that as we get into this project a little bit. You can see the kind of variety of materials that I've used. Um, fabric, brown paper, this is just electrical tape. Um, some other kinds of fabric, scrap wood that I painted black. Uh, on this one here I had a lot of fun. Oops, I dropped one or two. Uh, and I had a lot of fun kind of collaging uh, stuff onto that. So this is actually sugar that I collaged onto the leaf. This is a sort of a reddish rock that I crushed up. These are bits of flour that I uh, crushed up and added onto the leaves. Some sidewalk chalk that I smashed up. That looks really beautiful. I think that'd be fun to do one where it's just different colors of sidewalk chalk on various leaves or sticks even things like that. So one of the first things you want to do with this project is that you want to go ahead and you want to go collect some stuff, right? So maybe go find some leaves that you can collect. I've collected some other leaves. These actually have dried out a little bit. So we'll see what it's like working with those. Um, you can, but mostly it'll be leaves that are fresh. If you want to, you know, you could wait a day or so, like kind of let them sit. Um, and we can talk about how you can flatten those. Um, go collect some sticks. I've got lots of sticks all around, so I just different kinds of sticks. Um, sometimes you want to think about the shape of the object that you're getting. So I specifically picked up this stick because it has these spaces right here, and I can picture kind of weaving string or leaves or something in between those spaces there and using those as a part of my project. Now, one requirement for this project is going to be that the piece has to be, as you saw in the, at the, very, the slideshow at the beginning, the piece has to be made for the wall. In other words, it can't be just a sculpture that sits on the table like that. So I want you to make it with the idea of hanging it on the wall. So as you're making it, you might have to think of how you're gonna do that. In my case, I just used tacks and I uh, was able to just kind of hang them with clear tacks so the tacks sort of disappeared. Um, but you might use some sort of string or wire system. We can talk about that a little bit later. Um, so go collect your stuff. Uh, and after you collect all your stuff, here's some rope and random things. Um, collect all your stuff. And then we're going to set up our workspace and get started making things. All right. All right, guys. So now we've collected our stuff. Uh, and... Here's how I'm going to set up my workspace. Most of you might be working at a dining room table or a kitchen table, <clears throat> maybe the desk in your room, maybe you're working outside. Uh, but I, today I'm at the kitchen counter. Um, so I have some brown paper that I laid out. Um, and then I just kind of laid out a lot of my materials, right? So I'm just kind of laying out some of my leaves. Try to keep the, the space right in front of you, your immediate area. Try to keep that relatively clear for your project. Um, I've got a variety of things. So I have one of these old flattened cans. I love those things. I've got this old sort of Joseph and Jesus um, little prayer card that I thought might be nice to collage with. Um, and a variety of other things. Certain things you're definitely going to need are going to be some kind of glue, right? Either a liquid type glue, um, you know, possibly a glue stick, perhaps some string, uh, or I have uh, this gold wire that I, I love using. Um, some string, it could be even pipe cleaners, okay, those can be useful. Um, twist ties, if you have those, like from like bread things, just about anything, right? We're going to think about whatever we can use to make this happen. Um, I like to paint my glue when I'm collaging stuff. I like, to, I like to sort of like sometimes paint it on or even use my finger. So I have a brush, I have some liquid glue in this old container here um, that I'm going to use to brush things on, all right? So get your stuff set up, get a nice area set up for you so that you can get going. Uh, and then we'll get started. I'll show you some techniques of how to get started.
All right, so here we are. We're ready to go. Um, so I'm going to start with this can thing. So even though this is a, 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 product, a project that's based on natural materials, you can use other things, as you saw in my, uh, on my slides. So I've got, you know, other random things. I've got feathers. I've got cans. I've got different kinds of fabric. You know, if you have an old T-shirt or old uh, socks or anything, really, like whatever you find. Um, so I'm going to use this can as a, as my sort of base for my project. Um, and I, the first thing I would do is I would start taking some of my objects and kind of just placing them on there to sort of see how they look. Like, okay, what well, you know, what do I like that? Do I not like that? Etc. I'm not doing a, a drawing of it or a sketch. I'm not doing a preliminary drawing. Uh, I'm just going to kind of you know work with it and then just start going with something. So. I'm going to suggest that I, you know, kind of like this, like this, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on there. Now, if you have dried out leaves, then you, uh, you they might start to crumble. So one thing that I think that you can, that we can do uh, in order to preserve the leaves ahead of time is that you can take your glue, okay, and paint that on there. All right, on both sides, okay, and that will help to seal up the leaf, and it won't necessarily make it not brittle, but it'll kind of give it a little bit of a coating that'll kind of help it last a little bit longer. But it'll still that will still dry, and the object will still you know be brittle, so it won't make it hard or permanent. Um, if you have any other ideas, you're welcome to share them with us. Um, or certainly just try them yourself. Um, so I'm gonna take that leaf and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue down on my Coca-Cola can here. Okay. And it's not gonna stick immediately, right? So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna let that stay there, okay? And, and let that dry. Now, if you're glue... Hey guys, so uh, just to finish off right there where I was, uh, we were about adding uh, extra collage onto the glue, talking about the different kinds of glue that you could use. Um, uh, went on to continue making my project. As you remember, I was saying I was gonna start with this can, um, which I did, and I continued on with that. Uh, and this is my finished product. I'm gonna post a little, there's gonna be a little still image of it um, at, the, at the end of the video here. This is my finished project. Um, and it was a lot of fun. I really liked how it how it came along. I worked with um, some of those ideas that I was talking about about adding spaces in between, you know, filling in some of these spaces in between. Use that gold wire that I really like a lot. A um, couple other things. Some of this old rope. Uh, um, old, yes, yeah, it's, it, it's from old rope that uh, looks like kind of a bird's nest. A little bit of foil. Kind of putting these contrasting elements together, contrasting colors together. Does anybody remember what? how red and green are uh, interact with each other in the color wheel, what those are in the color wheel. They are complementary colors, red and green. They are complementary. They are opposite each other on the color wheel. So anyway, I had a lot of fun with that. I can now hang it on the wall. I'm thinking I can either use these little holes right here. I'm going to use those, which I have already done uh, once. Um, uh, can hang it on the wall that way, or I could potentially do it a different way. So remember that the pieces have to be hung on the wall. Um, when they're submitted, they have to be submitted um, of a, with a photograph showing them hung on the wall. Um, here's one of my other ones, one of the earlier ones from last week. Um, and, you know, have fun with this. You know, I think one of the things that you can do with this is, is you know, work on multiple projects because, you, you know, kind of you go down one path with an idea, but that's opening up ideas for another, you know, for another direction that you want to go. And you're thinking about all these different things that you want to do, right? Well, you don't just have to do one project. You can do multiple ones, right? You have multiple family members, I bet. They could be multiple gifts, things like that. So um, have a lot of fun with this. Enjoy. Uh, and I will hopefully see you all soon. Ciao.